Probably when he stands, he'll be right. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Bro. Welcome to Bob Folk Rides Hunting Adventures. This week we're headed to Alaska for moose, a float trip for moose on the 40 mile river. What an adventure it was, what a dream come true. Oh, I can remember like it was yesterday, my first float trip and my second one. The things that I learned or didn't learn, but we put the use on this trip here. I changed the rules and this is how it should be done. Take your notes, write down your phone numbers, do your own dream hunts, and make it happen. It's an adventure you won't forget. But also we got a conservation tip from the Wild Sheep Foundation and a training tip come from Winchester Ammo. Hope you enjoy the show. Don't go away. It's an exciting event. Victor Chevrolet, Bass Pro Shops, and Alamositos Ranch present Bob Folkrod's Hunting Adventures. Seven continents, 80 species, a five-year quest in the making, high adventure, dangerous game, real-world training tips. This is Bob Fulgrod's Hunting Adventures. This segment has been brought to you by the Victor Chevrolet Deal of the Week. Check them out at VictorChevrolet.com. Chevrolet.com, buy new roads. Victor Chevrolet, same place I get my trucks from, and you should too. Oh, oh thank you, good Lord. This week on Flexstone's Turkey Man, we celebrate opening weekend throughout the country. Okay. I'm turkey bait number two. All right. Nice. This looks awesome. With over four decades of turkey hunting experience and two world titles to his name, Eddie Salter is Flexstone's Turkey Man. Oh, oh. Welcome to this week's show. We're going to dedicate it to opening weekend of turkey hunting throughout the country. We're going to start our hunt out in South Florida, early March, and I'm going to be behind the camera. I'm going to give my son-in-law an opportunity to see if he can complete the Grand Slam. That morning was real slow, so we got on the bad boy buggy and we were just out prospecting, just seeing if we could crank a turkey up. And we were lucky enough to crank up some hens, and we were hoping maybe it'd be a big gobbler with them. 
Welcome to Sweet Addiction TV, brought to you by Hunter's Health. We're back here in Tennessee on Big Seven Ranch. We're chasing the turkeys, so stay with us to find out which one of us gets this bird. This is Backwoods Real Hardcore Hunting that shows you what it takes to be successful in the woods. Almost. Almost big enough for getting bigger. <laughs> Our show is dedicated to the drive and need to experience the outdoors, not once, twice, or three times a week, but every day of the season. Starts now. This is our sweet addiction. Well, we're back in Tennessee at SA Farms. I tell you, we've got this one bird patterned. We're ready. He's hitting this field at 9, 10 o'clock every day. And we're going to go set up on him. Jamie's off work. It's all lining up. I got the camera. Hopefully, it'll happen. Knives and game processing kits for Hardcore Hunting TV are provided by Outdoor Edge, the finest quality knives and tools for the big game hunter. When you got Seth McGinn at McCann Cooker in camp, you know that we're going to eat good. So we teamed up with Seth, me and Rocket, Seth and everybody, and cooked about six huge loads full for about 250 people while the auction went off to raise money for keeping warriors outdoors. You know, the recipe for today, as you can see, for the can cooker, it's a little bit of everything. It's got corn, it's got potatoes, it's got carrots, it's got cabbage, kielbasa sausage. You put that all in there, eight ounces of fluid, dumping your seasonings on every layer, maybe a little butter, a little Italian dressing. I'll tell you what, it's lip smacking good. You do not want to pass up a chance to cook with the old can cooker. From the files of Bass Pro Shop's television library, it's the Redhead Reload. Shedding new light and revealing the secrets of successful big buck hunts. <laughs> I lucked out this year and drew a muzzleloader tag and I actually the year before I drew an archery tag and I went out to Kansas to hunt with a really good buddy of mine, Tater. He owns a guide service out there. He invited me out and uh, man I saw a lot of deer and I saw one really big buck and of course you know just like all big bucks he stayed just out of archery range and I never got a shot at him. And come to find out a couple days after I left, one of his other hunters shot the big buck and it scored in the 150s. And so with that big buck scene, and I saw a lot of good sign, and uh, Tater invited me the following year, which is this hunt, to come out and uh, do another hunt with him. And so, I mean, I, I had to go. I, I couldn't pass it up. Bass Pro Shop's King of Bucks collection is the finest assemblage of whitetail trophies in the world. Over 300 incredible specimens, all original racks, and all available for periodic public display. For a brief glimpse of the depth of this collection, we offer this jewel from the crown. In this modern age of quality deer management, every year deer are growing bigger, growing older, but some of the truly great deer were taken deep in the wilderness a long time ago. 
1957, a man named Elburn Kohler took this whitetail in the dense pine forests of northeastern Saskatchewan. It is a giant, a massive 33-point buck with a Boone and Crockett score of 265 and 3 8 in a province noted for its very big deer, the Kohler buck has retained the title of the Saskatchewan number one non-typical for an astonishing 55 years. The circumferences really tell the tale. They average almost seven inches, with 67 and 4 eighths inches of abnormal growth added to the score. Long noted as the far north's king of the whitetail bucks, Elburn Kohler's incredible wilderness trophy is now available to the public in Bass Pro Shop's King of Bucks collection. Bass Pro Shop's next generation starts now. This week on Bass Pro Shops Next Generation, I'm bow hunting in Kansas. Are you into bow hunting? Understanding how an arrow flies will make you better. Today on Wow Factor. Over the past couple years of hunting at home in Kansas, I've shot all my bucks with a firearm, whether it be a rifle or a muzzleloader. And this year, I really, really wanted to get one with my bow. So this season I made that my goal to get a buck with my bow, no matter how long it took. You know, I know bow hunting can be challenging, but I was up for that challenge. It's really cool because it's an opportunity for my dad and I to spend a lot of time together because he is my cameraman. All right, it's the first evening. Just got home from school. And I'm gonna go try to shoot a buck with my bow tonight. 